He get as he be. He be as he get. Chris and Lily. We could have enter inside and be doing this thing. Don't spoil our children for us, please. Welcome back to What This Lifestyle. If you are coming across this channel for the first time, you're welcome. My name is Wadesta. Do well to join the family if you haven't. And to my returning subscribers to Modest Nation, I see you all. Oh, yes, I see you. Thank you for your love and support. It's a reaction video. <laughs> Our very own Lily Petals and her boyfriend Chris Jackson dropped a video on their IG and they titled the video Dating as Parents Be Like. I'm going to share that clip here. My life be like. Wow. Yeah. Ooh, wow. Ooh, wow. Ooh. <laughs> what is this? Guys, guys. You guys need to go inside the room. You cannot be doing this kind of stuff in front of the children. In front of minors. Huh? Why are you spoiling your children like this? Haba. He get as he be. He be as he get. Chris and Lily. We could have enter inside and be doing this thing. Don't spoil our children for us, please. I really love their reaction, especially the big girl, Aisha. Aisha is Chris's daughter. Yeah, she gave a big girl reaction like whatever. You make that enjoy. Enjoy yourself. <laughs> and Josh, Chris's uh, son, was like, <laughs> that's only a Yuri, of course. Yuri was also like, mm, Mama is kissing. While uh, that's only was like, Yeah, my mom. <laughs> and to me, I'm going to give my honest reaction to this video. There's nothing wrong. I must say that it's good to let your children see how committed. Let them see how you are in love, deeply in love with whoever you are with, especially after being through divorce, so that they will know what to expect in future. Because Obi is a boy, Obi is a boy. Definitely Obi will become a man one day. You cannot keep hiding or shying away from discussing these things. I know it's adult stuff. You understand? You feel you don't want to show them that you are kissing your boyfriend or kissing your girlfriend. Mind you that internet will show them all these things. And they have access to these things. So the earlier you start discussing stuff like this, let them know how they should be treated. What is the right thing or the best way someone should treat you there's nothing wrong in showing your children that you are in love or them seeing of course they didn't do the do they were just kissing it's just kissing so relax let me read the comment that made me to bring this to you guys here okay this person says to me it seems disrespectful for people to bake out in front of their children it is in my opinion almost like having in front of your children i think that it is a form of child abuse how would he feel if a man that was not his father was making out with his mother right in front of him it is a sign of disrespect and someone else also said how would you feel if your child will start doing this kind of stuff with uh, her boyfriend in front of you it's not a sign of disrespect it's not also you cannot compare it with sex it's not the same definitely that the do is different the do is a whole lot of stuff at least before you do the do you are naked now they are fully dressed nothing is showing they are just making a clip a funny clip actually you know they almost locked their face together I feel that this is just for fun. And another thing, you guys are not seeing what I'm seeing. You can now see how they are bringing both their children together. That one, nobody is seeing that one. How these kids are blending in, like, the bond is there. You can see that they are blending in so well. Chris and uh, Lily, they always try to bring these children together so that they will get to know each other because now they are one family. 
kudos guys i'm telling you uh people always like to go on the negative side and i don't know why you didn't see how lovely they are together like nobody will believe that they didn't have these children together always they are involving them in whatever they are doing always making out time for them you know there's another um positive comment i want to read before i conclude this person says i think it's important to be affectionate around your kids and date so they know they should be treated and treat their future partner one day if you get what i mean i got what you mean my dear you should be affectionate you should date you should talk about love to them you should tell them that this is the right thing to do this is how you should treat if you are a boy this is how you should treat your future wife if you are a girl this is how you treat your future husband if you are a girl this is what you should not expect you should not tolerate from your future husband don't let your husband use you as a punching bag don't let him abuse you in any form you cannot give out what you don't have if you don't have love for your partner how would you teach your children to show love how would you teach them the right thing when you every day is kitty 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 oh so they must always see when there is fights they must not see when mommy's boyfriend and daddy's girlfriend are deeply in love with each other no it's not done like that this is not disrespectful at all it becomes disrespectful if a minor for example my child who is a minor try to do this kind of stuff in front of me because i didn't treat my parents that way <laughs> that one is disrespectful you should respect your parents you shouldn't you know even if you want to invite your boyfriend or whoever over to meet your parents you shouldn't be like uh, cuddling and holding each other you know that one is disrespectful but this one that they did is really cute and what i can tell here is that this family are together even the kids regardless of the fact that they don't share mother and they don't share father you can see that they are blending together they are bonding together they close to each other they care about each other um yeah that is basically that one that brings me to our next topic today lily pope <laughs> another lily this lily this time around is lily niger our first lily is lily petals of yankee of america <laughs> So, the second Lily is Lily Niger, our own Niger Lily. She's a YouTuber based in Oka. She's into vlogging. Recently, she had twins. Omalecho, Hey, yeah. Beautiful boys, like handsome boys. Very cute babies, and we're happy for her. I was on Facebook cruising, you know, catching up, enjoying my leisure time, my me time. And I saw this post that I'm about to share on my screen that this father abandoned this mother after having twins. I'm like, oh, oh, wait a minute, let me look very well. Is this not my Lily? Is this not our own Lily Pope? Or am I seeing double? I went in, they were talking about Lily. I saw Lily's husband, I saw Lily's boys, their twin boys. This post came from legit night just something like that i'm like bloggers before you take any story here make sure it's verified whether it's on this channel whether it's elsewhere don't trust all these news vendors because at the end of the day all they care about is their pocket their mula how can someone who has been looking for fruit of the womb they have been trying and trying and trying and finally God answered their prayer. How can you come back and you are using them to share this kind of year story that the husband abandoned the wife because she had twins? Meanwhile, this is answered prayers to them. Thank God that Lily Pope is someone that is known on this street. A lot of people dropped comments and said, no, 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 she's a YouTuber actually. Even if she has made a joke or something like this, that this is never true, this is not true. Lily Pope's husband that I know, as Anambara Iboman that he is, is the happiest person now to have not one son, two sons at the same time. If you are an Iboman, you know, you know Ibos and male children are five and six. They love male children more than anything. 
So it's actually the opposite. Her husband can never be sad and abandon the children because the wife delivered twins. Actually, he is the happiest man ever for God to have answered them and even gave them what they are looking for. If you get what I mean. Yes, a lesson here is whatever news, whatever information that you are reading out there on the internet, don't too go deep. Don't believe it until you are sure that this is verified, like it's coming from the right source. Because people put out stuff. People carry your picture and put out stuff that they just, they just the way they want the story to go, the way they feel that they will get the traffic, they will just put that story towards that direction. They don't care whether it's true, how this person will feel. Imagine if Lily will see this kind of post, how sad it is. And this particular person that shared this on Facebook is actually someone, she works in a radio station and I'm like, oh my God, I thought you can do better at least to verify whatever information before. But I believe that she's not aware of it. Yeah, anybody can make such mistake. Our last discussion today is Yol Edoche. <laughs> Yol Edoche is still getting the heat, guys. Internet never forgets. Before you share anything on this page, <laughs> clean your eyes very well. That's all I can say. Make sure you, you are sure that this information that you are about to share is something that you can stand the heat when the heat comes. You know, if somebody would tell Yol that today, he will be facing this backlash everywhere. Facing this shambook, South Africans call it shambook. If somebody would tell him, I don't think he would have done this. He wouldn't have done this. He came out to announce that there's a show coming up in Anambara. It's called Anambara Talent Show. And then the winner will go home with 10 million and he's going to be one of the judges. Trust me, the comments under this comment section. I cried for him. <laughs> I cried for him and I'm like, will people ever forgive him? Like me, I've already like uh, pipe blow. Like I wouldn't go under any of his comments to start bashing him anymore because I think he has gotten enough of this beating. That's how I feel. But you know, you cannot feel what other people are feeling. So people still feel disappointed. So people are like, what are you going to teach us? What? You are the judge. What are you going to judge? You are going to teach us how to cheat on your wife or what? Or are you going to teach us how to be opening our trousers everywhere? So, <laughs> I'm going to read some of the comments. <laughs> this person says, now your papa get Nollywood, I beg shift. <laughs> Another person says, now so, even fidelity and sense dies in Nollywood. You know, somebody else said, from politician to a womanizer. Y'all again posted, kind of replying to all those people attacking him. He said, if my lifestyle, which doesn't concern you, is paining you, giving you headaches, sleepless nights, then it's confirmed, simple and short, you're a witch. <laughs> hey! And people again came back under this, his post. You know, telling him that he's the one that brought that himself. People are not minding their business. It's their business when you put it on their faces. It's their business when you decided to share it on everybody's face. It's their business when something that is on your phone, you did not keep it on your phone, you decided to put it out. So it's no longer your business. Like, you cannot expect them to mind their business at this point. If you had kept it by yourself, I don't think people will have the audacity to be even though there might still be rumor oh i think she did like this i think he did like this but when you bring it out it becomes everybody's business definitely except if minors are involved you know even if i decide to bring my child out you don't have the right to talk about him because he's a minor i think at this point if i were in his shoes i would just simply ignore like Ignoring all this is the best. Just like Judy Ox, she's not reacting the way her husband Yole Doche is reacting to all these things. Yeah, it's not gonna be easy, my dear. This is social media. Internet, they say, never forgets. Before you do anything, you don't do it 
feeling that I'm a man, I can do it, nothing the mega. I have the money, I have what it takes. Oh, who be that woman? So no be me they pay school fees for the children. No be me they do everything. No, these days, nah, it's no longer family matter. Especially when you carry yourself come out. It's no longer family issue. It becomes everybody's business at this point. The only thing that can save this is just ignore. Ignore. If you can take my advice. If I were him, I would just ignore. It's not going to be easy. But he has to ignore. Because he's the one that brought himself out. As our Igbo people say. So, the Egypt is working on us. We are not going to be So, Igbo is working on us. So, you have a knife for us. You know, make it. Make it well. Make you the manager like that. It's never going to be easy. But with time, I believe, everybody will have to move on. It's not the end of the world. What has happened, has happened. But definitely, if he comes back saying what we don't understand about his wife, definitely we will also bring it back here. <laughs> I just quickly wanted to talk about it because it's really funny how every post that he tries to make, people will twist it around this infidelity stuff. Every post that he made, people will try to remind him what he has done. All right, guys, if you watched till this moment, do not forget to give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't. Tell a friend to tell a friend about Modesta Lifestyle. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye-bye. <laughs>